How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with a copy of Renegade for your NES. Some old school Taito, Technos action, and what an interesting game. The arcade, great. The Nintendo game, eh, you know. What caught me though, and you gotta have the heart, you gotta have the story, you gotta have the background for something like Renegade. And so says on the back of the sticky note, you can't see because it's being whitewashed. This game has been broken since 1990. Can you fix it? Well, I'm no Bob the Builder, but I'm going to do my very best to get this game working again. Hopefully it's just cleaning it because it's been that long. Maybe it just has build up or something. I don't know. But we're going to open it up. We're going to check it out. And can we get this game working again? Here's here's hoping anyway. Now I'm using a Super Retro Trio 3 Plus. I think they work great. There's a Nintendo slot, a Super Nintendo slot, and a Sega Genesis slot. Um, this thing's super grimy and dirty. There is a newer version of this available. I'm using the same one that I've always been using. I love it for testing, so I don't put games in my actual top loader or actual NES systems. Um, but it works pretty well. And this is, if it still doesn't work, then I'll maybe test it in the bigger one. But oftentimes, it'll work in this. And as always, all the tools I use for all my videos, always linked in the description below. I got my Amazon store right there. So as I put Renegade in there, give me some good news. That's not good news. Oof. You just felt, you could just feel the grime. You could just feel the, since 1990, 1990, good Lord, 31 years ago. Is that right? 1990, 2000, 2010, 2020. We're in 2021. 31 years. Well. We, that's the wrong one, that's for Genesis games. We need one for Nintendo games, there we go. All right, 3.8 millimeter security bit. You can just Google game bit or Nintendo screwdriver or whatever. This one has this three of them on the back. You know what I remember about Renegade was I saw it in the arcade at a place called Mean Machine in Yakima, Washington. My mom didn't like me going there because it was during a time in the 80s when smoking was socially acceptable indoors. And uh, that place was one smoke-filled arcade. But it was the only place in town that had Bubble Bobble. But it also had Renegade. I got another fun Renegade story coming up here in just a moment. Let me open this up first. Shaking the cobwebs out. There's nothing in there. <laughs> here we go. Um, it is, this, is, this has been used. And I shouldn't say the word used. It has been well-loved. All right, I, I bet if we clean this up, I bet it'll start working. Here's hoping, anyway. I am, for something like this, a one-up card, maybe? I'm gonna go straight to the Bright Boy, I think. Let's just go straight to Bright Boy, see what happens. Bright Boy is this big old bottle here. This is a brass polisher. It's a metal polisher, I should say. Um, and it'll sharpen up these uh, dull and dingy pins, make them right as rain. There are some who use Brasso. You're advised not to use Brasso, just like as you're probably advised not to use Bright Boy. But again, I have no technological background. I have no engineering degree. I do what works for me, and I've never had a game not work because of Brasso, but there have been several studies that show that, especially if you don't clean up after yourself, the extra residue gets pushed into your game system. You don't want that, especially if you have like a top loader, especially if you have like a modded top loader. So, you know. So more for the entertainment value, less for the whatever, but let's see if we can't get this working again, because I would love to see Renegade working again, as it's been broken and not working for 31 years. Good lord. That's that's one side already. That's just one side. Okay. My goodness. Well, it's, it's, it's cleaning up, but there's still so much stuff on it. Let me go to the other side here. With my Q-tips, when I use Q-tips for either like, you know, like rubbing alcohol or even Bright Boy or whatever, I usually use one side for cleaning, the other side for drying. But this game is so dingy, I'm using one side for one side and then the other side for the other side. I have another Q-tip and I'll clean it up. And I'll also clean it up with a 1-Up card afterwards. And if you're not familiar with the 1-Up card, you'll, you'll see what it is here right quick. Again, I just want to get, get this game working again. It'd be so cool to see this working again. So cool to power it up. Never mind how good the game isn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? If we can get our games working again, that's that's good news for us. You know, going back to... Uh, oh, I just... You know, it's a problem with dealing with pins when there's pins nearby. Um, I was thinking about Renegade again at the Mean Machine, which is no longer there. It's like a furniture store or something. It's too bad, right? I remember once I was there. I didn't really play it much, but I remember seeing it for sure. 
and uh, there's somebody playing it, but he was adding his own like martial arts action noises. So like he was playing the game, kicking and punching people, and he's going. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. I was like, for some reason that stood out in my mind. And it stood out long enough for me to remember it this whole time. The NES game came out, you know, <laughs> the arcade game came out first, so that's a memory from like 35 years ago. All right, this one up card will clean it up just fine too. Oh, I still see the what's missing on it. it. Here's hoping. Here's the dry side, the buffer side. I don't need the Michael buffer side, just the buffer side, you know? Okay, well, a little bright boy, a little one-up card. Can we get this uh, Renegade working after 31 years of being broken? Has been working since 1990. I was a... 1990, I would have been I would have been middle school, maybe just high... No, I would have been in middle school in 1990. Good lord. I think Ice Ice Baby was number one on the radio. I, I, could, I could do all the research and stuff. All right, power it on. Here we go. Huh? Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let me have a quick look. Okay, so the controller works. The controller works. Okay. Well. All right. It's still it's still a little glitchy. Uh, let's let's do another round of the cleaning here. Come on. I've got those confidence vibes going on. You know what I'm saying? Those feel good. The I can do this. It's that there's nothing that can stop me now. There is that Chariots of Fire music playing in the background, which I can't play in the background because that's a copyright strike. There is that good look when you cook something and you put it in the oven and you got your timer set and you know it's going to be awesome. You know it's going to be perfect when it comes out. I've got those feel good vibes that we're going to get this game working glitch free, my friends. Although a glitch in this game may make it better. However, I'm not here for all that. I want to I want this game to work, buddy. If this game works, I'm I'm playing. You know what's funny? I've never beaten this game. Have you can you do that? Have you ever beaten uh, Renegade for the NES? I never have. If you have, congratulations. I've gotten far, but I got lost in a kind of door maze where you go somewhere and you're trying to fight people and there's the bigger than normal characters and they team up on you and there's more than one. What was that character's name? It wasn't Andre. Was it Rita? Martha? I don't remember. It's been, a, it's been a long time since I played Renegade. So we have, here it is again. The pins are a little bit more clean, but they're, st they're still kind of faded. This game was well loved, like I said. It's just the, it's the, the, it's that act of taking it out, take, you know, like taking it in, putting it out, taking it out. It's, it's all that. So we're going to pop it right back in here, just like this. Just like this. Give me some good news. Love it. We got it. I remember this game used to confuse me. This game this game used to confuse me quite a bit because you have the A and B buttons, and one button attacks one way, the other button attacks the other way. So instead of like it being punch and kick, you have one button that is gonna punch and kick behind you, and one button that's gonna punch and kick in front of you, depending on which way it is, like left and right. Renegade with the faded label on all that. Happy to put this back in here. And this note, this game has been broken since 1990. Can you fix it? The answer is yes, we did. I'm literally going to put it on the inside of the cartridge. So we know, so anybody will know. Maybe they'll open this up 31 years from now again, and they'll be like, what is going on with this thing? I've had a lot more recent subscribers, and you may not know that open cart surgery was kind of the basis of my channel for a few years. So if you want to see more videos like this that I've done in the past, I've got a whole playlist you can binge right now. I don't always win. They're not all wins. They're not all successes. But it's fun to see if we can get it working again. And sometimes I have to pull out the soldering iron, the desoldering iron. I'm swatching, swapping pins and chips and boards and all that fun stuff. Got it working. I'm so happy. I'm telling you, that you, you, don't, you don't mistake those feel-good vibes. You don't get them twisted for anything else, man. That's what it's all about. And I knew it was going to happen today. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you're new. We'll see you again real soon.